Hey everyone, it's Wednesday the 17th of April and the time, I have to check the phone because as you can see I'm not at home at the minute it's 1.53 I'm in the workshop so I thought I'd bring the camera with me today and uh, just give you a quick tour really um, I must remember to bring the dustbin in because the only other person here is my sister because <laughs> mum and stepdad have got on a little uh, vacay if you like just for a few days so let me just uh, shrink the tripod so I've brought out the uh, National Geographic tripod still feels flimsy but uh, it's lightweight, which is great for, you know, cutting it around and whatnot. So I must remember to put all this... Oh, sorry. A cameraman I am not. I've always said that. <laughs> right. A bit easier to wield, you know. So, we'll start this end. There's my stepdad's railway room. I'll show you the model railway in a minute as well, and we'll go and have a look. So I've got a push bike there, I've got this hoarder bikes. I want to keep that white racer though. And the Rally Maverick there. And that Triumph, I think it is. And the Schwinn. In fact, at the moment, there's only three in here that I definitely want to get rid of, and there's one maybe right over the back there. Which is the Claude Buck hybrid. Don't know about that one yet. Uh, right. Here's the bench. Bench number one. Which we simply made by halving one of these, or two of these shelving units, as you can see. That's what it's made out of. So we just split two of them in half, literally. Arranged a couple of shelves on them, as you can see. And then just put a top on it and that's it that's exactly what that bench is it's as simple as that and I bolt the device on here we've got two more up in the top shed and spares I've got stuff on here I don't really know I could do some more shelves that's what I could do with it like perhaps above that but I haven't got nothing to screw a shelf bracket to um, I've got plenty of stuff I could make a shelf with but I can only screw it to these, couldn't I? Perhaps I'd have to do that. And perhaps cut a notch out in the back of the shelf for the cables for the light. Because I put this in a few days ago. Because um, we had nowhere for the compressor to go in here. And I thought some extra bench would be useful, so I put this to good use. It's not 100% level, but I don't really care about that. Nothing's rolling off of it anyway, and hasn't got to be 100% level. It's close enough. Um, I'm probably going to put this on Marketplace. I bought it off Marketplace, used it a couple of times, didn't like the way it was working in here, so I've taken it down. It just wasn't doing it for me, so to speak. Right, the tool wall. Believe it or not, most of this is actually mine. Some of the uh, vice grips are my stepdad's, and some of these wrenches here are my stepdad's, and some are mine. There's a, a bit of a mix up there. We've got a welding mask up there, and there's where the electricery comes in. Shot blasting cabinet and computer, which got plugged back in. Red basket, it's just full of junk. I've got a handheld shot blaster there as well. I bought it from Lidl's a few years ago. Um, so I could blast this and repaint it. Just give it a nice fresh cut. There's not really anything wrong with this coat of paint. I could potentially just leave it. And again, just align that rear wheel, put a new tube in it. I need a spark plug cap because it broke. <laughs> I have got spare coil for it. You still get spare bits like that on eBay. I've got a horn to put on it, I've got the headlight on it, I've got a speedo for it. That's going to be an issue, because all I've got left is the foam, which is rather wrecked. 
you know, perhaps I, perhaps I should just leave it as is. I need the, a, a fuel tank of some description though, because mine leaks like a sieve. But yeah, that's the uh, 1975 PF50 I keep talking about and mentioning in videos. And over there is the third brand Honda Camino, which does run. <laughs> and on top of that, I've got bike projects everywhere in here. I've got this one, which I need bearings for in the bottom bracket. And I've got to put a different crank on it because uh, I had to bash it off with a hammer. Couldn't use my extraction tool up there. Because Emel, in their infinite wisdom, designed these so you couldn't put one of those in to take it off. And of course, they coated it in plastic. That's what I hate about these cheap ass bikes. Less metal, more plastic, equal cheaper. But uh, when you bash them off with a hammer like that, you end up smashing the uh, plastic. And the other side's even worse, so... But I'm hoping that one will fit it. Or I'm going to be... Hopefully... I'm going to spit my words out. Hope I can find one in there. Got a little welder, got parts washer. That's the big box full of moped spares and parts and whatnot. For uh, these two, mostly this one. Now, as I was saying, I was going to do a full restoration on that, you know, strip it all down, sandblast all the framework and whatnot, put it all back together, but I don't think I really need to, do I? I should just leave it. Just use it as is. Just fix it. <laughs> yeah, I need a spark plug cap. Broke off of this. And the spare one I've got doesn't have one on either. Typically. And no, even though that seat is the same shape as this one, the mountings are different, so they don't fit. I don't think. I'm pretty certain they don't. Um, I was also going to leave that one as original as well. So I think it's um, patinaed quite nicely. I need another cover for this bit. I've only got this side. I had an orange one for that side, but I broke it. Um, but again, I just got fixed a headlight, two new tyres, service the suspension because it's a bit stiff. Sort the carb stroke throttle out because it doesn't rev properly even though it runs. I did say two new tyres, didn't I? Inner tube. I don't think that's it. Horn button if I really wanted a horn. I barely used a damn thing on the Yamaha jog I've got out there, which is really puzzling me. Right, the last two days I've ridden that ped here, it's ran like an utter bag of shit, to put it bluntly. You know, at some points I could barely do over 30 mile an hour with it, without it going bleh, 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 and coughing and spluttering all over the place. But today, flawless absolute flawless um, like it never has or has never had any running issues at all it was just perfect absolute great ride maybe it just doesn't like being woken up at half past seven in the morning <laughs> maybe that's the problem I don't know but it is annoying and it is puzzling me um, yeah, anyway, I'll just show you what I picked up at the recycling centre. No, I thought it was yesterday. It wasn't yesterday, it was the day before when we had them high winds. So I've got this dual suspension bike with a funky seat mount on it. <laughs> Never seen anything like that before. I actually want that seat. I want to put it on something else. Not with this bit, though. Um, but that's made by email, so it's a just a budget friendly bike it'll clean up though it does need new cables on it and whatnot tires pumped up because I haven't done that yet I'll do that before I leave this rally I picked up a couple of weeks ago at least 
I'm going to completely rebuild that for myself and I was going to do some custom mods on it. The only thing I'm going to change are these because I've got a better set to put on there. But I'm going to try and stay as true to originality as possible. So I'm going to go on eBay and see if I can find a nice pair of these. Because the stickers come off of that one. Uh, this is another one I picked up on Monday. Despite being, you know, a budget-friendly bike, it's in really good condition. I just had to do the bottom bracket bearings. And we've got a French one here, we've got Peugeot, which is mine. I've, I've claimed that one, that's mine. I'm keeping it. And it does more or less ride as is. Gears are all working. Brake needs a bit of attention because that one is weak as hell, despite being a disc. Um, I think the cables just need a bit of oil sprayed down them. I mean, they don't look rusty. I think it's just where it's been sat for a long time. I pumped the tyres up so far, they've held air, same as those ones. And out here, a friend of mine is actually having that one. Not the Falcon, but that was another one that I rescued. And I've got this rally, which is basically the same. It rides, just needs a good clean and service. Oh yeah, and over there I got that one from the car boot sale on Saturday. Ooh. Right. Ooh, I wonder. So I really don't feel like going home yet. I'm trying to get your tripod legs sorted out. Perhaps I should pause when I do things like that. I'm wondering if Helps if I slide the legs all the way in, doesn't it? There we go. Ah, ah. Some wrenches here to take back with me because I lack. I think that's actually a 16 below. No, it is a 15, but is that a 15 mil? Looks like 16 to me. I just want to take one of them because I seem to be lacking them. I'm going to hang that one up. I seem to be lacking them up here as well for some reason. Uh, there we go. I've got three of them up here now. Hang the pull that one up. I don't actually know why I like that Peugeot. I like it, it feels nice to ride, so I just gotta sort that front brake out. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be back here tomorrow, Friday. That made me jump. I'm gonna shut it off. I wasn't expecting it to do that. <laughs> See? Yeah, I did just jump on camera. Um What was I saying? Oh yeah. Not sure if I'm going to be back tomorrow or Friday or even over the weekend. I do want to get back here though because I need to get some. I haven't got anything to clean with in here. Well, a couple of rags, but you know I haven't got any polish or any cleaners or anything. So I'm going to get some uh, a little bit later on when I go back to town. Uh, do I need gear cables? I do need gear cables because I want to redo them all on that red rally. So I'll have to grab some of them when I get the uh, doiggies. Bottom bracket bearings. Someone hadn't greased them. They've been replaced before and someone hadn't greased them. And one side had done this. Yeah, that's what one side of them looked like. That's not what they're meant to look like. That's what's left of a ground up cage. Here's the other side. You see what I mean? Look, they're dry. There's no grease on them. They don't look like I've ever had grease on them. So someone literally took the old ones out and put these in. Or maybe they were like that from the factory. Maybe some dipstick forgot to grease them. Who knows?
Yeah. Oh, I'm glad I checked that because that back wheel and that email is not uh, in there straight. I was just putting dust caps on back on wheels before I lose them. Do you know, I might actually order another one of these tripods so I can specifically leave that here. And then eventually invest in another camcorder so I ain't got to keep bringing that one over. And leave that here. I oh, know I'm still off camera because I still can't point it properly. A lot of women tell us we can't point it properly, you know. I get told that all the time. Why can't you aim straight? Hold on a tippity booing minute. Maybe I could save some pennies. Box full of bottom bracket spares. Do I actually have any half decent bottom bracket bearings I could just shove in it? You shouldn't do it this way. It's not the correct way to do it. Um, but I have actually found a couple of decent ones. I'm just trying to clean them up a bit because there's muck and fluff all over them. There's some old grease. Right, so that's got to go there. They go there like that. And put the backs to the... The flat bit goes to the shape there. In fact, have I got a rag in here? Because even that axle needs a good clean. Yes. I should actually go through all my t-shirts at home because I've got loads there that can be used as rags because I've got holes in and all sorts. Let's see if you if you put it back all filthy. And uh, you just end up with a load of crap in there that gets in all the bearings, and then your bearings will just wear out. They're the worn ones. And those other ones I picked out don't match. These ones do, though. And yes, I am that nitpicky. <laughs> there we go. Just give that clean down. They're used, but there's literally nothing wrong with them. They look exactly like they would if they came out of the store. I have got some car lube grease up here. I want to get another tin of this. It's $9.99 a tin, and actually looking at this, that might not be a bad idea. So I've got a um, rally shopper bike at mine that... Uh, do with all the steer bearings being greased up again. Because the steering is rather stiff and horrible. I'm just going to put the grease in here. Like so. Let me of it so it can uh, all get worked in. There we go. This side all greased up on this one. Like that. And the problem is, I've now got greasy fingers, so I can't actually move the camera. There we go. I'll just use a rag and rotate, hopefully. And then tilt. Couldn't see it. Right, axle. I cleaned out in here already. I actually can't remember what way around this went because it's the same. Oh, it's the same, so it doesn't matter. Some axles one side of it sticks out further than the other, so there is a, an actual right way and wrong way to do it. But it appears not in this case. 
I've got to get the uh, cup in place. And that cross thread and bleeding thing. So I, I do find sometimes when I do this I have to uh, tighten the bearings a little bit more after a ride. We can settle in Ooh, far too tight. bearings need a bit of a tighten up on this as well. I'll do that later. I was just looking at the time. This is actually closer to the frame on my side at the top there where the brake is than it is the other side. It's not rubbing but it's just weird to me that it's that close. Now She just remembered what bike this came off. This um, crank. Uh, what on earth is going on with this chain and whatnot now? There we go. I don't know how the chain has managed to do this. Ow. There we go. Keen to make an adjustment. front uh, thing in the bottom. Driving your neck. First gear I have the no, sheep that had moved. Right, let's just put that down. I'm probably going to use a different bolt for that as well. I'm pretty certain I used those or put those in here. Yep, I've got one here. And 14 more ratchet. I intentionally keep a ratchet up there with a 14mm on for this purpose.
had no plans to do this. It was only until I saw that box, I thought, you know what, let's give it a go. Feels perfect. So let's find another bolt. Preferably a match for that one. A bit rusty, but that will do. It's not an exact match, but I think it will do. I don't know what bike it came off and I think I was having trouble getting a full on match for that one. There we go, I was fixed and pretty much ready to go. It is a, well, I'll check the front ones in a minute, but gears were working. Not what Phillips I was looking for, but typically I couldn't find it. upside down, loosen off the wheel bearings and just use a cone spanner to tighten them up a little bit. Like this. I have got cone spanners for that. My 15 should be laying over here, or at least one of them. be able to get just one rooster.
have some spaces on this side. I'm going to bring it away from that front a little bit. Right. Change the plan, take the wheel out. <laughs> right. for a couple of 17s or something. Yeah, a bit easier than them. Wait, where's my wheel? Let's try these. I'm going to off camera again, aren't I? Okay. It, it did tighten up. Let's see if I can... A bit more. Maybe a smidge too tight. Let's back it off a little bit. Something like that. I'll try that. Changes back to our One off. Two is too much. much better spacing up there. Mm, we're looking at the back of the air, don't we? <laughs> Sorry. more wobbly wheel. 
ready for a clean and a tire replacement. Reflector. I might as well take it off because it hasn't got a rear one anyway. Sweet. What's the time now then? 230. Okay. That's the 15 I'm going to take home. I wonder if I need any inner tubes. I don't think so. Uh, these tires have been pumped up for about an hour now and they'll still be holding there for fine. So I need cleaning bits and bulbs. Sorry, I'll go and do that. Apparently, I can't count because there's actually three out there that I want to bring in. actually fully works. I want the stand off of this one now. So uh, next time I'm over, there's a lot of cleaning up to do. How well is this rust going to clean off? Actually, while I'm thinking about it. Got some steel wire. Ooh, it's coming up quite nice. Yeah, 
rust there that's not going to come off with this. I just cleaned it up and made it look better though. That's all I want. I don't want it looking perfect. I don't I'll ever get perfection out of it, but. on my shelf up here to clean with. Yes, I have. I've still got that to do. forgot to do the front bit. some handlebars and things that I need to do this to on bikes at home as well. scratches and whatnot on here but I'm not worried about that. Just want to get grime off of it. What all these dirty streaks are on this thing. degreaser I was already sprayed some of that on it. Use an edge of this that I haven't got the furniture polish on. smarter now. I'll have to get some uh, either some brake pads or some brake cleaner or something. I don't even think we've got brake cleaner kicking about here either.
My bones are a little bit loose. Yeah, that light was lying on the whole bed. Well, the whistle I should say at home. Well, not 100% perfect, but ready. Well, that set blue grips or something on there. I just want to get this off so I could get these bits of metal off. Out of the bloody way. Survivor tires, pair off. I think the real brake's perfectly fine anyway. As long as there's one perfectly adequate one on here, don't matter. One works good enough. Just 
Right, on that note, I'm going to end the video here then. It won't, literally won't be long before I now head back. I'm calling up Wilco's in North Horsham and pick up a couple of bits. I'm going to need. I may come over here tomorrow again. I don't know if I'll have this with me, but I will most likely come over again. Right. Thanks a lot for watching everyone. Hope you enjoyed the video. You know, thumbs up if you did, thumbs down if you didn't. And uh, don't forget, consider subscribing. Helps you follow the channel, it helps me out. And helps the channel, it helps everyone out. And it's totally free. And if you check the video description, which will be down below here somewhere, I will put links into my other two YouTube channels, among a Discord server and my Twitch channel, so feel free to check those out as well. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.